This is Earl Purdy, and I feel like doing my Course in Miracles lesson with you this morning. I feel like doing my Course in Miracles lesson with you this morning. So I'm going to read my Course in Miracles lesson, and hopefully it will be just as helpful and inspirational to you this morning as it will be with me. And so I'm going to do what I call spontaneous miracles and miracles gatherings and sharing and uh, today's lesson in the Course in Miracles is a lesson 60 it's lesson 60 today's lesson is lesson 60 and it's a review lesson and I want you to take this with you today because I'm going to take it with me today I wanted you to take this lesson lesson 60 a Course in Miracles I want you to take this lesson with you and I'm going to take this lesson with me today <clears throat> so there are five ideas that five ideas that I need to remember today and five ideas from A Course in Miracles that we are being asked to remember today. Uh, the five ideas from A Course in Miracles that we are being asked to remember to take into everything that happens to us today. Hello, Linda. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Shirley. Hello, Lori. It's good to be here with you and sharing this lesson with you this morning. Uh, God is the love in which I forgive. 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 So today's le today's review lesson, the first one is God is the love in which I forgive. And, for and to forgive is to perceive correctly. The Course in Miracles says that forgiveness means true perception, correct perception. So God is the love in which I correctly perceive. God is the love in which you correctly perceive. God doesn't forgive because God has never condemned. God doesn't forgive because God has never condemned. The blameless cannot blame. The blameless cannot blame. The blameless cannot blame. And those who have accepted their innocence see nothing to forgive. Do you know that when you have accepted your innocence, you will see nothing to forgive? When you have accepted your innocence, you will see nothing to forgive. Yet forgiveness is the means by which you come to recognize your innocence. Correct perception is the means by which you come to recognize your own innocence. Forgiveness, which is correct perception, is the reflection of God's love on earth. <clears throat> correct perception is the reflection of God's love on earth. So forgiveness, which is correct perception, which is correct interpretation, will bring you near enough to heaven. Correct perception will bring you near enough to heaven. And heaven is love. That the love of God can reach down to you and raise you up to it. Correct perception, which is forgiveness, will bring you near enough to heaven, which is love. That the love of God can reach down to you and raise you up to God, which is to raise you up to love. <clears throat> the next review thought is... God is the strength in which you trust. God is the strength in which I trust. God is the strength in which I trust. God is the strength in which I trust. God is the strength in which you 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 trust. Love is the strength in which you trust. The universe is the strength in which you trust. It's not your own strength through which you forgive. It's not going to be your own strength through which you correctly perceive. Don't forget, for, to forgive means to truly perceive. To forgive means to correctly perceive, Earl. To forgive means to correctly perceive. So therefore, it is not my own strength in which I forgive. It's not your own strength in which you forgive. It's through the strength of God in me, and it's through the strength of God in you, which you are remembering as you forgive. So as you forgive, you are remembering the strength of love. As you forgive, you are remembering the strength of God. As you forgive, you are remembering the strength of God. As you rem as you truly perceive, you are remembering the strength of God. As you truly perceive, you are remembering the strength of God. So as I begin to see, as I begin to see, I recognize the reflection of God on earth. As you begin to see, you recognize the reflection of love on earth. As you begin to forgive, which is to correctly perceive, you start to do what? 
recognize the reflection of God on earth. I forgive all things. I forgive all things. I forgive all things. You forgive all things. I forgive all things. You forgive all things. I forgive all things because I fear that I feel the stirring of God's strength in me. I feel the stirring of God's strength in me. I feel it. I feel it. I feel the stirring of God's strength in me. You feel the stirring of love's strength in you. As I begin to remember the love I chose to forget, as I begin to remember the love I chose to forget, as I begin and I begin and I begin to remember the love I chose to forget, I remember, I remember the love I chose to forget. And I begin to remember the love I chose to forget. You begin to remember the love you chose to forget. You begin to remember the love you chose to forget, but which has not forgotten, which has not forgotten you. So I begin to remember the love I chose to forget, but the love that didn't forget me. I choose to remember the love I chose to forget, but which hasn't forgotten me. I begin to remember the love I chose to forget, but which has not forgotten me. There is nothing to fear. 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 How safe the world will look when I can see the world. How safe the world will look when you can really see the world. How safe the world will look when you can really see it. When you can really see the world, when you can really see your world, it won't look anything like you imagine you see now. When you can really see the world, it won't look anything like you imagine that you see it now through any kind of fear. When you can really, when you can really, 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 really see the world, it won't look anything like you imagine that the world uh, looks to you now. Everyone and everything you see will lean down. Everyone and everything you see will lean toward you to bless you. When you can really see the world and you're seeing the world correctly, everyone and everything I see, everyone and everything you see will lean toward you to bless you. When you're really seeing the world correctly, everyone and everything you see will lean toward you to bless you. When you can really see, when you're really forgiven, when you have true perception, the Course in Miracles says you will recognize everyone as your dearest friend. That when you're actually seeing correctly, when you're actually, when I'm actually seeing correctly, when I'm actually seeing things the way that I should be seeing things, when I forgive all things, um, I will recognize in you, my dearest friend. What could there be? What could there be to fear in a world that I have forgiven? What could there be to fear in a world that I have forgiven? What could there be in a world to fear that I have forgiven and that has forgiven me? What could there be? In, what can there be? What could there be? What could there be? What could there be to fear in a world that I have forgiven? What could there be? What could there be to fear in a world that I have correctly perceived? What could there be? for you to be afraid of in a world that you are correctly perceiving? What could there be in a world that, that, what could there be in the world for you to be afraid of, according to the Course? What could there be to fear in a world that I have forgiven? What can there be in a world that has forgiven me? What could there be in a world that has forgiven me for me to be afraid of? If I've actually really forgiven if I'm actually seeing things correctly, if I'm actually seeing things correctly, what could there be in a world for me to be afraid of if I'm actually seeing things correctly and I'm actually seeing things correctly if I'm seeing things with love? This is A Course in Miracles. I'm doing the workbook lesson for today, Lesson 60, Lesson 60 in A Course in Miracles. The other review thought for today is God's voice speaks to me all through the day. God's voice is speaking to me all through the day. God's voice is speaking to you all through the day. The voice of your creator is speaking to you all through the day. The voice of your creator is speaking to you all through the day. The voice of my creator is speaking to me all through the day. The voice, the voice, the voice, the voice, the voice, the voice, the voice of my creator is speaking to me all the time. The voice of my creator is speaking to me all through the day. The voice of love is speaking to you all through the day. 
God's voice speaks to me all through the day. There's not a moment in which God's voice ceases to call on my forgiveness to save me. There's not a moment in which God's voice ceases to call on your forgiveness to save you. There's not a moment in which God's voice fails to direct my thoughts. There's not a moment in which God's voice fails to direct your thoughts. There's not a moment when God's voice fails to guide my actions and lead my feet. There's not a moment in which God's voice is not guiding your actions and leading your feet. I am walking steadily on toward the truth. I'm walking steadily on toward the truth. You are walking steadily on toward the truth. No matter what seems to be going on in your life right now, you are walking steadily toward the truth. There is nowhere else I can go but toward the truth, and there's nowhere else that you can go but toward the truth. There is nowhere else you can go. There is nowhere else you can go but to the truth. There is nowhere else but you that you can go but to the truth. There's nowhere else that I can go but to the truth. There's nowhere else that we can go but to the truth. Do you know why there's nowhere else that we can go but to the truth? It's because God's voice is the only voice. God's voice, the voice, the voice of God is the only voice. The voice of the Creator is the only voice. The voice of love is the only voice, Earl. The voice, the voice of God is the only voice. The voice of God is the only real voice. It's the only real voice. The voice for God is the only guide that has been given to you. The voice for God is the only guide that's been given to me. The voice for God is the only guide that's been given to us. Today. Right now. The last thought in this review is from Lesson 50. But this is actually Lesson 60. But the review thought that I'm about to share with you and with me is I am sustained by the love of God. I am sustained by the love of God. I am sustained by the love of God. You are sustained by the love of God. You are sustained by the love of God. I am sustained by the love of God. You are sustained by the love of God. I am sustained by the love of God. We are sustained by the love of God. We are sustained by the love of God. You are sustained by the love of God today. You are sustained by the love of God today. I don't care what you think you're going through. I don't care what you think is happening. I don't care what you're telling yourself. You are sustained by the love of God today, Earl. You are sustained by the love of God, dude. You are sustained by the love of God, you who are listening to me right now. You are sustained by the love of the universe. You are sustained by the love of the universe. The universe is sustaining you with its love. God is sustaining you with her love. God is sustaining you with his love. You are being sustained by God. It's not power. It's not money. It's not who you know. It's not being liked. It's not about being uh, knowing the right people. It's not money that's taking care of you. It's not medicine that's taking care of you. It's not your wits. It's not how ingenious you are. It's not how inventive you are that's taking care of you. It is your creator. It is love. It is love. It is God that is sustaining you, Earl. It is God that is sustaining you, my mighty companion. It is God that is sustaining us. It is that which created us that is sustaining us. I need to remember this today. I need to remember this today. So as I listen to God's voice, I am sustained by God's love. As I listen to God's voice, I am sustained by God's love. As I listen to God's voice, I am sustained by God's love. As you listen to God's voice, you are sustained by God's love. As you listen to God's voice, you are sustained by God's love. And as you open your eyes, as I open my eyes, as you open your eyes, as I open my eyes, as you open your eyes, as I open my eyes, God's love lights up the world for me to see. As I open my eyes, God's love lights up the world for me to see. As I open my friggin' eyes, if I'm willing to see things another way, if I'm willing to get off my need to be right, even when I'm wrong and even when I'm unhappy, I know I'm wrong because I'm not feeling happy. When I'm not feeling happy and I'm angry and I'm upset, I'm the one that's looking at things incorrectly. So what this is telling me is that as I open my eyes to the truth, as you open your eyes to the truth, then the love of God will light up your world for you to be able to see. As I forgive, as you forgive, as I forgive, as you forgive, to forgive means to correctly perceive, to forgive means to truly perceive, to forgive means to have the correct interpretation. The Course in Miracles says forgiveness is true perception. So it means as I truly perceive, as you truly perceive, as I correctly perceive, as you truly perceive, Earl Raj Purdy, and you, my mighty companion, 
as you correctly perceive, as you forgive, God's love reminds you that you are sinless. You are sinless. You are sinless. You are sinless. You are without sin. You are without sin. You are without sin. You have never sinned. You are without sin. You have never sinned. You are without sin. You have never sinned. You have never sinned. You are not guilty. You are not guilty. You are not guilty. You are not guilty. You are innocent. You are innocent. You are innocent. You are innocent. And the love of God reminds you that you're innocent. The love of what's really God, who is really God, the real God, reminds you that you're innocent. Your real creator reminds you that you're innocent. Dude, you're innocent. Earl, you're innocent, my mighty companion. You are frigging innocent. And you juice it too. And as I look upon the world with the vision that God has given me, as I look upon the world with the vision that God has given me, as I look upon the world with the vision that my creator has given me, as you look upon the world with the vision and the sight that your creator has given you, as you look upon the world with the sight that your real self has given you, you will remember that you are God's creation. You will remember that you are God's son. You will remember that you are God's daughter. You will remember who you really are as you look upon the world with the vision that love has given you, as you look upon the world as love the vision that with the vision that love has given you when you look upon the world with the vision that truth has given you and in a situation you will remember that you were created by love and you will remember that you are a child an extension of love so that's lesson 60 that was lesson 60 that was lesson 60 and I'll say the five ideas again uh, God is the love in which I forgive God is the love in which you forgive God is the strength in which I trust. God is the strength in which you trust today. God is the strength in which you trust today. God is the strength in which I trust. The next thought is, there's nothing to be afraid of today. There's nothing to be afraid of today, Earl Raj Purdy. There's nothing to be afraid of today, my mighty companion that's joined me and looking and right here with me right now. There's nothing for us to fear today. There's nothing for us to be afraid of today. No matter what we try to tell ourselves, there's nothing to be afraid of. No matter what you're telling yourself right now, there's nothing to be afraid of. The next thought that we're reviewing from Lesson 60 and A Course in Miracles is God's voice speaking, is speaking to you all through the day. God's voice speaks to you all through the day. Your guidance is speaking to you all through the day. Your guidance is speaking to you all through the day. Your guidance is speaking to you all through the day. God is speaking to you. God's voice speaks to you all through the day. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. <clears throat> And the last thought in the review in Lesson 60 in A Course in Miracles workbook is, I am sustained by the love of God. You are sustained by the love of God. I am sustained by the love of God. We are sustained by the love of God. I am sustained by the love of God. You are sustained by the love of God. We are sustained by the love of God. I am sustained by the love of God. You are 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 sustained by the love of God. We are sustained by the love of God. That's, those are the five thoughts that you need to remember today, Earl Raj Purdy. Those are the thoughts, five thoughts. Those are the five thoughts today that we need to remember together, mighty companion. Those are the five thoughts that we need to remember today, mighty companion. These are the five thoughts that we need to remember today. I'm telling you. I'm Earl Raj Purdy. And thank you for sharing this lesson with me today. And if you would like to join me more, I got classes and videos on my website that are available for free. And I do lots of Facebook Live. So just go to my website, www.earlperdy.com. I love you, mighty companions. Thank you, those of you who joined me today, because I'm going to be doing these spontaneous workbook lessons because I want to know that I'm not alone and that there are others who want to remember the truth with me. So like this, comment on it, share it, so that it will extend its reach all through Facebook. So may the course be with you. Love you.